Soy has no mammalian estrogen, so no estrogen from mammals in it. Yep. It is a completely different structure, so it contains what we call phytoestrogens. Phyto is a Greek word for plant. Yep. It, it has a similar sort of role in plants. It's, it's like a sex hormone of plants, I guess, yep. but it's got a, it reacts completely different in our bodies. And the phytoestrogens are thought to be what's good for our health. Yep. The mammalian estrogen is what you know a, a, a woman, or, uh, as in a human women produce, and what um, uh, what female cows produce as well. And that's, okay. there's a lot of estrogen in cow's milk. Welcome back to episode five, where we're chatting about soy milk versus cow's milk. Dr. Andrew, let's get straight into the subject. I'm excited. Mate, good, <laughs> good question. This is brilliant, you know, so people mm. often talk about um, you know, soy milk and the, and the big problems with it, the big myths with it are, you know, that you, mm. it, it's, it's bad for your hormones. Yeah, yeah, I hear that, I hear that all the time. Me too. Oh, <laughs> every time. And, yeah. you know, people tell me I'm going to get man boobs, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to become infertile and, mm. and all these things because it's got, soy's got, it's full of estrogens. You know, I went to a coffee shop um, at Byron Bay the other day and I said, um, I said something about soy and um, they said, oh yeah, it's good, but it's really bad for your hormones. And I just kind of walked away going, oh, I should say something, but I just, I just, yeah. I just want to drink my soy, yeah. co- my soy coffee in peace. So <laughs> yeah. I walked away. Um, but anyway, look, it's, yeah. it's one of those things where it's an absolute myth. This, yeah. is, this is literally, you know, myth number four zillion in amongst a, a mm. gazillion myths. Yeah, and it's, it's actually not estrogen soy. Soy has no mammalian estrogen, so no estrogen from mammals in it. Yep. It is a completely different structure, so it contains what we call phytoestrogens. Phyto is a Greek word for plant. Yep. It, it has a similar sort of role in plants. It's, it's like a sex hormone of plants, I guess, yep. but it's got a, it reacts completely different in our bodies. And the phytoestrogens are thought to be what's good for our health. Yep. The mammalian estrogen is what you know a a, a woman or a, as in a human women produce and what um uh, what female cows produce as well and that's okay. there's a lot of estrogen in cow's milk so i guess if you're if you're looking to avoid estrogen then the first thing that i would avoid is mm. is dairy and cow's yep. milk you know so soy is much better for us and when we talk about soy too because there's the, the soy debate is huge out there now mm. And I think a lot of people are getting them mixed up with Roundup Ready Soy, GMO Soy, and Certified Organic Soy Grown Naturally. And there's a huge difference between those two, isn't there? Oh, a massive, a massive difference. So, so I um, have a, a, a soy milk that is an organic soybean. It's, yep. it's not heavily sprayed. So when we talk about GMO soy, what, you, what we're talking about is Roundup Ready Soy, mm-hmm. produced from a company called Monsanto. Mm-hmm who have genetically modified their soy in such a way that they can spray it with as much Roundup as they like. Yep. And it doesn't kill the plant, it kills everything else, including our soils and everything. Mm. And we talk about these monocrops, these big monocultures, and they're destroying our biodiversity and stuff like that. Well, soy, 80% of soy that's grown is the GMO soy, which is fed to cows. It's okay. deemed, it's yep. deemed unsafe and, and not suitable to feed to humans, but it's fed to cows and then humans eat the cows. Wow, or drink so, the cow's milk. Or drink cow's milk. Wow, and it, that's crazy. Roundup has a uh, chemical in it called glyphosate, mm-hmm. which is a water-soluble um, a toxin that actually is just, it seeps into everything. It seeps into mm. our environment. It, it gets into the body of the animals after they've eaten it, it's, which, is, mm. which is very bad for the environment. It's very bad for the planet. So, you know, the, when we're talking, like we said, there's a very clear delineation between the organic soy milk that you're, you're yep. drinking that's, that's for human consumption versus the, the GMO. And, you know, a lot of people say to me, well, soy is really bad for the environment. It is not true because 80% of the soy that we produce on our agricultural lands goes to feeding livestock. Yeah, well. There are 56 billion land animals, pigs, chickens, lambs, cows that are slaughtered every year uh, that's 2,000 every second and they all need to be fed and yep. they get fed uh, a lot of the time in concentration feed mm. lots and they're fed with corn and soy and it's a round up ready it, soy it is it's a round up ready soy the round up ready mm. corn so what's the worst for the environment well it's the GMO corn that's feeding the livestock and the fact is this is a direct quote from the United Nations is that that 80% of agricultural land goes to feeding 
it goes to grazing land for livestock and also growing food to feed yeah, livestock. Wow. So the 80, is. Uh, yeah, 80% of our land produces only 20% of our calories, mm. whereas the 20% of our mm. land produces 80% of our calories, and yeah, that's well. 20% is fruit and veggies. Yep. So I guess in saying this, there's a lot of evidence that shows that certified organic soy, I mean, I know there's cultures that have been eating soy for thousands and thousands of years. Japanese, Okinawans. Yep. Yeah. And when we talk about the, the certified organic soy, there's a lot of health benefits that are proven oh, to definitely. go along with it. Yeah. So, we look at it now, um, there, was a, there was a study, probably one of the big studies that comes to my mind was a study in the JAMA, the Journal of the American yeah. Medical Association, which is um, another big journal mm -hmm. that, um, in, in the medical industry. Um, yeah. And they, this was published in 2009, they looked at um, giving, so women with breast cancer who were eating high concentrations of soy yeah. versus those who were eating lower and, yeah. um, concentrations of soy. And they found a survival benefit in women who were eating a lot of soy. So the women with breast cancer yeah, wow. lived longer and it also okay. decreased the rates of recurrence of breast cancer. I can show you lots of papers yeah. that show yeah. that soy is actually really good for our environment. And you said it before, what makes sense to me is that countries that have been living far longer than us in far better health than us, like Okinawans in, in Japan and, and, and most Japanese who are eating a lot of soy and yeah. they don't have half the issues that we have. Okay, it's really interesting. and so. I guess the topic we're talking about too today is, I guess, when we compare, uh, I guess, certified organic soy to, to a cow's milk, even an organic cow's milk. Let's, yeah. let's, let's go organic cow's milk, all, all right? organic, yeah. Um, the, the hormonal issues and, and all the other health problems that are linked to, I guess, there's, there's things that are coming out now with milk, but people should be more worried about consuming milk than what they should be consuming soy. Oh, it's 100%. You know, it's, you know we, the, way we, the way we target treatments for... Yep. Um, breast cancers and things. Some mm -hmm. certain breast cancers is we have anti-estrogen, we have estrogen blocking drugs. Yep. And um, you know, dairy is, is like we said, it's full of estrogen. Um, so look, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. The, whether it's organic, a cow needs to be impregnated yep. to produce cow's milk. It's the same yep. as a a, a human. Yep. That needs to be uh, that needs to be pregnant to produce mm -hmm. milk for our babies. Mm -hmm. Same thing happens in cows, and that is that is a growth formula that's full of hormones, yep. full of growth hormones to help turn a baby cow into a big cow, like we said. Yep. And you know, it's it's I've seen a lot of research that shows that uh, that avoiding dairy it can provide a benefit. So decreased risk of prostate cancer for men, yep. and decreased risk of breast cancer for women. Yep. But Undoubtedly, I personally think the conversion of a of dairy milk to yep. a plant-based milk is one of the best and most simple things you can do for the planet. It, yep. it was the first thing I I started doing. Yep. When I and I used to hate the taste of it. Mm -hmm. I, used to, I drank soy. I was yep. like, oh my god, this is this is terrible. Uh, but I just I weaned myself onto it because yep. I I understood the environmental impact of dairy and yep. uh, to the environment and to the animals. Mm -hmm. And so. Like I said, the best thing you can yeah. do is convert to a plant-based milk. It's really funny you say that because you know when you first switch over, yeah. it's quite funny. And I think we're just conditioned to drinking cow's milk because yeah, one, of, one of my friends who's, uh, who's been a vegan now for a few years, he drank milk his whole life as well. And now he loves all the plant-based milks. And I, we went for a coffee and actually he gave him milk and he had a sip and he vomited straight away. Oh, I, and he I said, he said, I cannot believe... I actually drank that. It yeah. is disgusting. Yeah, uh, it's, your taste buds change. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, how, yeah. How I, I was the same. I, I drank, um, I asked someone to get me a, a soy flat white the other day at mm. work and they came back and yeah. and I sort of had one swig and I was like, whoa, that's definitely not soy. I knew straight away that yeah. no one else was soy. I was like, I took it back and I said, hey, can I have a soy? Yeah. I cannot stand the taste yeah. of, and I used, like, like I said, I used to drink six litres of a week. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm Mm. It's it's one of those things. It's that you your taste buds will change and they'll adapt. <clears throat> yep. And now I drink soy by the yep. bucket, and I don't worry about my health at mm. all. And no one yep. should worry about their health. Yet. I, I think so too. And I think uh, would you recommend that people sort of, um, you know, try and make sure they are, they are drinking or eating soy that's a certified organic soy? Yeah, uh, I think so. Look, yeah. uh, there's there's not a there's this, the evidence on organic is very scattered. And it's yep. very hard for me to. Yep to okay. formulate a, a solid opinion. But what makes sense to me yep. is that a pesticide is something that was derived from nerve gas from the wars that used yep. to kill humans. 
So it makes sense to me to not spray that on our food. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Makes total so sense. I think we're now starting to see a lot of evidence mm. coming out about um, organic foods yep. um, that I didn't really mm. think there was a lot of evidence yep. for, but I think there's yep. going to be a bit of a motion moving yep. forward. And, and that's the beauty of science. We're always out there to disprove yep. stuff and we're always moving forward mm -hmm. in science. And so 100%. things that we once believed 10 years ago, we look back now and go, oh my God, I cannot believe yep. we thought that. Yep. You know, so. I wonder if in a few years time we're really going to see a lot of evidence mm. and so I personally think eat organic where you can yep. and and definitely mm. with certain foods and so Roundup Ready Soy I would steer very yeah. very clear of. Yeah. yeah and I think I think that's a, it's a, that's a really great point and sticking to uh, I guess soy milk over cow's milk is, is something that I think I would recommend as well and I know you would recommend yeah. it because oh, people should be more worried about cow's milk yeah. For their health and what they're worried about soy yep. milk. It's, it's around the other way. And I think you made a good point when you brought up um, about uh, prostate cancer with men because that leads to our next subject, which is not talked about enough, and that's men's health. And yes. masculinity and a whole food plant based diet. <laughs> I think that's something we need to talk about. So, in our next series, series six, we're going to talk about males or masculinity and a whole food plant-based diet. So stay tuned, because Dr. Andrew and I are gonna get into that one. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>